Oh, YouTube, Ravens Flock, what's good, man? It's your boy Gabriel, just on the fan TV. Back at you on the video, man. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. You know, Ravens kind of coming at you on a daily basis, and we're going to talk about something that's uh, a little different from uh, being a Ravens fan, man. Um, you know, this is, as they say, this isn't your father's Ravens team, you know what I mean? Things of that nature. Uh, as long as I've been a Ravens fan, I can remember a couple of things, right? All right. Maybe us struggling on offense. Definitely us struggling on offense for sure. And our defense being stout. That isn't the case for these Ravens team. It's um it's the reverse. We have a explosive offense, high flying offense, and we have a defense that's struggling to find their footing. Okay. Now it's making me think that should we reevaluate what we expect from this defense at least for the time being, right? Because this this is what I'm seeing on this defense right now. I'm just looking at the stats, quick numbers. 14th in rushing allowed, I believe about 104 a game. Dead last in passing yards allowed, about 353 yards a game. The next closest person, I think, is Miami with 297. So, Ravens are far in the, ahead uh, in the passing yards allowed department. 24th, tied for 24th in scoring uh, with about 26 points a game, 25 points, 7, something like that. And... Uh, but this is this is the other side. Tied for first in takeaways with three other teams. I believe it's the um, might be the Jags and the Bucks. But they're tied for first in takeaways with eight takeaways on the season. So it it, it leads me to be kind of wondering as a Ravens fan. This defense that we said was top five, high flying, going to be one of the best defenses in the league. Um, they're not that to start. So, should we be expecting a team that's now more uh, bend but don't break? Maybe a team that says, hey, look, you know, we'll give up the yards. We'll give up the yards, but we're going to take the ball away a couple of times a game. And we're going to give it back to the offense who can't stop scoring. Now, while that may be the way that this team may need to be viewed, obviously something needs to be correct. Something needs to be shaped, okay? And to me, it always starts with, the game of football is kind of simple. If you can usually, if you can protect your quarterback, keep him upright, you have success. Usually, if you can move people off the ball, you can usually run the ball. The Ravens kind of do two of those two things on offense: move people off the ball, to run the ball. Is eh, unless it's Lamar Jackson, and protecting the quarterback, they do okay with it. You know, Lamar does some things where he escapes, so that's great. Um, then on the other side of the ball, can you create pass rush? Can you bother the other team's quarterback? Can you? Make him uh, feel it in the backfield. Ravens aren't really doing that. So, that's the conundrum for the Ravens right now. Can they solve the defensive line in the trenches? Because the way McDonald's playing defense, the way I'm looking at it, the way I'm viewing it is the fact that he wants to play defense in a way where he has coverage on the back end and he can get home with four. He may mix in some blitzes every now and then to bring in some extra pressure like uh, the Mac Jones interception that he threw to Marlon Humphrey was a pure pressure interception. Um, Pepe Williams is coming and screaming free right off the edge, right? Great time to, uh, corner blitz. Excuse me. And he puts that pressure on Mac Jones. Mac Jones throws up a, a, a prayer. And Marlon Humphrey's there to answer it, right? <laughs> so good for the Ravens fans. Good for the Ravens team. That was pretty much the end of the game for me right there, honestly. But... The Ravens team still gave up a lot. Mac Jones still had 300 yards passing, but they had, what, four turnovers in the game, three picks, one uh, forced fumble by Kyle Hamilton. So this Ravens team is putting me, a fan, in an interesting position that I can't really remember being in before, where it's like where we're watching teams march up and down the field on this defense, but we know eventually a turnover is going to come. This Process is sustainable, and they're going to go through their biggest test uh, this Sunday versus the Buffalo Bills because Buffalo Bills are going to get their yards. All right, and now uh, this that, that's the way the Ravens are going to live. Unless guys get their yards, we'll see how that works for them. Can they turn over a quarterback like Josh Allen? I'm not saying Josh Allen is uh, imperious or imperious to turn over or anything like that. Um, obviously, he can't make a mistake. He's a human being. But you're going up against an uh, offense that is. Well, the Ravens are high flying. The Bills are just that, if not more, right? So that this theory, the way this team is playing, that hey, look, we give up a lot of yards, okay, but we turn the ball over. 
we, we get the ball back to our offense. That's going to be put to the test this weekend. And I don't know. Actually, I know that's not the way this team wants to play. It can't be. Right now, listen, I'm going to say this for McDonald. The reason I only want to say change the expectations is because he's a first-time NFL defensive coordinator. This is his second year being a coordinator overall. All right. He did it for one year in Michigan. All right. I guess that was his trial run, his apprenticeship under in the, in the hall ball regime. He went to the college hall ball. Now he's here with the NFL hall ball. All right. So now that he's in his second year, full time calling plays, first time in the NFL, is it too big for him? Is he, too, is, is he lost? Right. Is he doing things that maybe we got to wait to see it come to fruition as far as everybody understanding where they're, where they're supposed to be? Because, you know, during the all season, all I was hearing about, oh, yeah, the communication is great. Everybody knows what each level of the field is doing. And um, guys are communicating better than others. You know, that, these were some of the things you were hearing coming out of camp. And these are not the things that we're seeing when we, when we watch the Ravens line up on Sunday. <laughs> it's not what we see. You know what I mean? So, it's at, so, you know, this question kind of came to my mind. Do I need to change the expectations of this team? Do I need to say, instead of saying, you know, I'm thinking of a Ravens mindset, you know, how we say, hey, if we can hold the team, other team 17 points, you know, that's that's a W for the Ravens. That's 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 what the Ravens defense do. You know, we hold teams under 20 points. That's what we do, right? Um, we haven't been there in a while, honestly. And, you know, we've been completely honest. Even before, um, you know, Mike McDonald came here. And that, that's just kind of the new age of the way people score in the NFL and things like that. But still, um, that's just not who the Ravens are at this moment, right? And you got to be honest with that. Now... That expectation of them being a top five defense, I'm not going to say it's gone, but it's definitely hampered. It's definitely been uh, uh, watered down. You know, now I'm saying if the Ravens can get to top 15, they can be a top 15 defense. And this offense keeps playing the way they, where they playing. This team had, can have a chance to be successful, but they can't be dead last in passing. They have to fix that. Whether that is... Uh, miscommunication on the back end, all right? I love what Marcus Williams is doing, but Marcus Williams ain't Superman. He can't do everything. So that means this is really on the other guys because if you look at it, Marlon Humphrey's playing well according to all metrics. Um, Marcus Peters in his first two games back has been pretty good. You know, he got beat for a couple touchdowns versus Miami. Well, really just the one touchdown versus Miami. But he's been good. Patriots game, he was back to being, you know, locked up Marcus Peters. So, you know, guys like Stevens, you know, the rookies, all of them, they got to they gotta step it up. But, honestly, it comes back to the same thing I said before. If you know that we're not getting a pass rush, right, you got to send some more guys, okay? Now, this is not saying turn to Wink Martindale and send the whole team. But the Ravens are not living up the rushing four, and that's going to get home. It's not happening right now. Maybe when you get your guy job back, maybe when you get Ty's Bowser back, Maybe that comes to fruition and we could actually do something like that. But for the time being, that's not who the Ravens had. That's not what the personnel is dictating for them to do. I look at a guy like Patrick Queen, right? Who hasn't, he hasn't been bad in past coverage. I won't say he's uh, taking the least that maybe we want him to take. But um, why not send him on some more blitzes? When he was sent on blitzes versus New England, he did get home a couple times. Um, he seems to be a pretty good and decent blitzer. So why not use that speed? Shoot them through the gap. Whatever gap you want. Around the edge, inside, or whatever. So, this Ravens defense needs help. It needs help. And it needs help from Mike McDonald. It needs help from the defensive coordinator to say, hey, look, our guys are not getting home. So, we need to send extra pressure at them. When he did that, success happened. Now, obviously, mix it in. Mix it in, McDonald. And I think that with if that could happen, this team could have some success. But when I look at these numbers, once again, 14th in rushing allowed, over 100 yards. Remember that streak the Ravens had of not having a 100-yard rush by the other team? Y'all y'all remember that? When the other team's running back, no, we're holding you under 100 yards. We're holding this team under 100 yards rushing, flat out. It's, it's not that Ravens team no more, okay? Last in passing yards, 350 yards a game is, is embarrassing. It's embarrassing, okay? Top of 24th in scoring. But first in takeaways. Top and first in takeaways. So, the way they're playing right now isn't sustainable, okay? You can't just say we're going to give up all these yards. But we're going to take the ball away two times a game. 
that'd be great, but it's not sustainable. So in my eyes, when I look at this team, I can't say that this is the way we got to get used to the Ravens defense being. I can't say that. I can't get used to that. This Ravens defense needs to be able to go back to getting pressure on the quarterback. However, they have to do it, right? Now, listen, if that calls for being more aggressive at times, that's what you have to do. Until you're able to get home with four, how you want to get home with four, that's what you're set up for, right? You're set up for allowing guys all day to throw. You're set up for guys dinking and dunking and picking them, choosing what they want to do. We have had, we've had the last two weeks, two quarterbacks who I would say their, their, their strengths are a short passing game and dinking and dunking and things like that. We allow both of those guys to get in the run. Mac Jones right off at the start of the game in two-way in that fourth quarter. We cannot have no pass rush and not challenge receivers on the outside. You can't have both. You can't have both. So when, I, when I've seen the Ravens challenge the receivers on the outside, send a little heat, it's worked out pretty well for the Ravens. Pretty well, most of the time. Okay? So hopefully we get back to that. I know McDonald is young. He's a... Uh, Fairly inexperienced defensive coordinator. We've got to be completely honest about it. Obviously, I just went through his resume only two years. Last year, Michigan. This year, right now. Um, and we can say, well, you know, he's been on the uh, uh, wing for all this time. And this and that. It's different when you need the guy calling the shots. It's different when you need the guy calling the plays. It is. So, what can he do differently for this team to be more successful? That's what I'm looking out for. Because the way the Ravens playing right now isn't sustainable. Lamar Jackson in this office is playing fine. But eventually... They're going to need the defense to lock a team down because the offense ain't going to have it every week. That's just a fact of life. For the offense to walk up there 17 times and have it all 17 times, we're asking for trouble. And now, this would be a hell of a game for the defense to start right now and lock somebody down. Now, it's the Buffalo Bills. I'm not saying I expect it to happen, but it'd be a great time for it to happen. I need to see Mike McDonald be able to make adjustments and to be able to say, hey, look, I don't want to play a more laid back rush for soft coverage kind of defense, but I may not be able to do that until we get some more pass rushers in the building. And that's fair. That's what that's what good people do. They good personnel, uh sorry, good officer coordinators, defensive coordinators. They adjust to the situation. So if you want to be a good DC McDonald, adjust to the situation and uh sense of pressure. When you've done it, it's work. Alright, maybe you need to do a little bit more. So that that's that's pretty much my thoughts, man. This Ravens defense I wanted to say, yeah, let us let me change my idea of how I think about this defense. But if I change the idea of how I think about the defense, I'm conceding on a great offense, bad defense, and that's not going to win a championship for the Ravens. That's not what the, that's what the, that's what the Ravens want to do. They have to, the defense has to at least be average. At least be average. And right now, they're not that. So if they can change, uh, make that change, turn a corner, and be an average defense, this team could go far. We'll see what happens with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, man. Um, so yeah, just this little quick rant from me, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. I'm out.